Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. Today is Christmas Eve, and in this holiday special episode, we're going to be visiting the North Pole. Now, before we get started, I just want to let everyone know that it's been a bit of a scramble for me to get content out and prepare for the holidays, as at this very moment, I will be away from home visiting family, and I will be gone for the next two weeks, and we only have eight, eight megabyte internet over here, and I will be unable to deliver any more content for 2022 as a result. So this will likely be the last video of the year, and if all all goes to plan I should be returning early January and content should start flowing out again shortly after so I just want to wish everybody a happy holidays let's enjoy the final park spotlight of the year and I'll see you guys again in 2023 Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Live here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. As mentioned today, we're going to be visiting the North Pole, created by Master Engineer 2 an expert and a patron. Thank you so much for your support, Master Engineer 2 Really appreciate it. And here they say, welcome to the North Pole, the most unique theme park on the globe, located at the top of the world. This theme park has something for everyone, with multiple coasters from spinning to gigas. The thrill level is for you to choose. Don't forget to stop by Candyland if you're here with the family and plenty of kid-friendly attractions. But there is more to this park than meets the eye. Under the surface, you can find a rainbow of magical crystals only found in the North Pole. It's how the village runs each colored crystal has a specific ability allowing the North Pole and Santa to do what they do best. Take a tour at the toy factory and see some of the behind the scenes. Learn more about the crystals in Santa's workshop or see the crystals being produced in a refinery. Most importantly, enjoy your time at the North Pole. I mean, it says make sure to get the custom media, which we have. And I recommend taking the train up to the top to the first station if you would like. You can take the skylift back down at the end. The park looks good at both day and night, so be sure to check out both. Okay, there it is. Let's just get right into it, shall we? Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all having a holly jolly holidays. Here we are at the North Pole. It is Christmas Eve at this moment, after all. So I figured we will uh, start things off at nighttime here. We have a park map with the uh, custom images here showing us the way. Now, um, do you guys hand out presents on Christmas Eve? Let me know down in the comments below. So a little bit curious, do you guys get presents on Christmas Eve? My mom did something interesting that's probably different than everyone else. She, uh, she gave us all of our gifts on Christmas Eve, and then in the morning we would have a couple gifts from Santa. But, uh, yeah, it was, it's a little bit interesting. I do, I, I, I prefer doing things a little bit differently. And when I go visit my family, uh, I like to give one gift out on Christmas Eve, like some pajamas or uh, a box of chocolates or some sort of treat, something you could snack on in the evening or get cozy with and uh, give that out to everybody. And then in the morning, we just have a fiesta of presents, Santa presents, Johnny presents, family presents, all the presents. And we just uh, spend all day playing with our new gifts. And I'm pretty sure that's the traditional way things uh, are supposed to be done. But my mom liked to break traditions and do things differently. Um, but uh, it was always it was always great no matter what. So this is looking fantastic. Here we are at the North Pole. He said something about us taking a train ride up. We could see we're at the bottom of the mountain. And that is actually the North Pole. Apparently there's something going on in there. Um, is this the train station? Because I, I saw another queue. So yeah, here's a train, but we have like a coaster or something over here. Okay. Yep. So we have our first coaster of the day, the Holiday Chill, a wooden coaster. There's a look at the results. Nothing crazy here. Should be just a, a chill coaster. Gonna go uh, check this one out and see you.
very cool. I feel like I, uh, I want to share what I got my family for Christmas in this video. I want to know what you guys got for Christmas, though. Fire away down in the comments below. I know this is a Christmas Eve video, but you could be watching this the day after on Christmas morning. What did Santa get you? What did your loved ones get you? Did you get what you want for Christmas? Did you get anything special? Did you get something memorable? Let me know, fire away down in the uh, comments below. One thing I'm pretty excited about, and hopefully my uh, stepmom's not watching this, she's uh, been really into gardening. They got a new place, which uh, I'll be staying at, and uh, they've been really working on the garden, so I wanted to light that thing up like a Christmas tree. We got the path lights, we got string lights where you can run them through the, the plants. I got nets that you can hang over and drape over uh, railings and bushes and stuff like that. And uh, I got these cool little mason jars. Shout out to Rohana, one of our community builders, uh, Discord members. She gave me the idea of these like mason jars that you can, they're like solar powered. The lids are solar powered. So you can uh, put stuff that are meaningful to you in there. And on the top of the mason jar is like a light. So I got a whole set of those. I don't know how I'm supposed to be sitting in this. Maybe we'll just do uh, the front facing view. And actually what we'll do for this train ride is we'll go up at daytime because we might like get a better view of the mountains here. A little bit more vibrant. Yeah, the mason jar idea is kind of fun. You can uh, decorate them. They got little handles so you can hang them around. And they serve as both lights that are solar powered and all that. Um, whoa. But uh, also a fun creative gift. With all that, the garden Let me turn this down just a bit. With all that, we uh, we can have some fun during Christmas Day setting up all the lights so that they suck up all that solar power during the daytime and then come uh, Christmas Day evening, everything should light up nice and pretty. So I thought that was a fun little gift idea. I wanted to share that because there's gonna be a lot of nighttime lighting in this park and uh, there should be a lot of nighttime lighting where I'm at during Christmas Day Eve and uh, I look forward to having fun helping her set that up and seeing what the end result looks like. I got a bunch of other fun things for people. The way I tend to give gifts is uh, I, I try to get people something that's a Johnny gift, you know? <laughs> I, I like to do fancy lighting and, and I got a LED computer, right? I like my lights. I like cool things. Stuff that's uh, a little more techie. So we get some techie gifts for the mom there. and uh, But make it something that's also in line with what she likes to do, which is gardening. So bring a little bit of my life into her life. And uh, something that she can have fun with because... You know, I'm a man-child, and I like to play with my gifts on Christmas. So I want to give people things that they can play with, and things that they can understand, but also something that they will like, and something that I will like. <laughs> I know some people tend to, my, my dad used to do this a lot growing up, he would buy gifts that he likes for people, but nobody else liked them. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't watch this, but he likely won't. But yeah, he just buy things for himself for other people. And uh, that didn't always work out in, in the, the best way. So I learned from that, and I try to um, give people things that I like, but also that I, I think that they'll enjoy. So I think everybody's going to get something very Johnny-like, something high-tech, something creative, something that you can have fun with on Christmas, something you can play with. Um, but then something that they'll actually enjoy and have a memorable experience with. And that's my goal when getting people gifts. And it takes me a lot of time to try to make a thoughtful gift. Um, I spent a long time, and that's why I was also saying at the top of this video that there probably won't be any more uh, videos past this because I spent majority of my last week or two um, really shopping around for the best gifts possible, the best experience possible. And I kept on going back for more and adding things and changing things. And it was a process, not to mention I got the best wrapping paper, ribbons, bows, you name it. Wrapping these presents was several days work. <laughs> 
It's a, it was an experience, a zen moment, getting everything ready for the holidays. We got treat bags, um, kind of like I do my own stock, stocking stuffers, but they're in gift bags instead. So um, I went all out, I did everything I possibly could, and it, it really ate up my time. Uh, not only did I want to do more Planet Coaster videos, I wanted to do more Midnight Suns videos, and I said, you know what, I'm going to have to cancel all of these videos, because I'm literally, I'm recording this like two days before I have to leave. <laughs> So let's get that volume back up a few days before I have to leave here. Still got to clean my place up, get things ready, uh, pack my bags, do my laundry, clean my house. <laughs> Everything's getting done at the last minute here um, before I leave, but it'll be nice because, uh, you know, I'm going to be disconnected from the internet and um, it's going to be a nice break. I have lots of things to get creative and have fun with. Okay, maybe I got to turn this down just a little bit. But here we are, we've uh, finally arrived at the North Pole. I can stop, stop rambling about Christmas gifts, trying to fill in the gap there on the train ride. Look at this crazy map. We got all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, I'm just gonna go about this the way I wanna go about this. Enjoy the, uh, oh, look at that. You got like um, a suspended coaster going through the toy factory. What a creative idea. This is amazing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Christmas. I'm just gonna wander around and get lost and Enjoy the lighting. Uh, gotta love the big Christmas tree in the center here. Beautiful. All the presents under the tree. I can't wait to see what my Christmas tree ends up looking like. Because at the time of this recording, I'm still at home. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure my parents have a nice tree all set up. And I am going to fill that thing with presents. <laughs> Let's go. No pink penguins in this in this shopping window. Not today. Cosmic cow stand. Get your cold drinks. Some TMTK. This is all looking fantastic. I like how you've decorated pretty much every single storefront. It really adds to that holiday spirit. That, you know, um, what do you call it? A window shopping experience. Get your sweets and treats. Ooh. And there's that Giga Coaster they mentioned. Something for everyone in this park, they said at the top. And um, I know I'm looking forward to that. Is this it? Aurora. The Aurora Borealis. I'm assuming this is a nighttime coaster because there's going to be some sort of Aurora light show. Uh, look at this. What a queue. We get to walk through the Christmas village. That is fantastic. Wow. You lit up lights all the way around. Very meticulous, patient, tan placing all the string lights. Good googly moogly. I'm going to have fun doing that. That's great. Okay. Here we are at the uh, what appears to be a Giga Coaster, the Aurora Giga Rage. Almost uh, 2,400 meters in length. The biggest drop is 100 meters. Average speed is 50 miles per hour. Max speed is 100 miles per hour. This one's no joke. We're probably gonna have to ride this both at day and night. It appears that we are not saving the best for last. <laughs> uh, why don't we do a track view?
Wow, freaking we absolutely incredible. Beautiful coaster design. I love what you did with the Aurora Borealis. It's a great concept. It's a great idea. And uh, even the inclusion there of going through the village at the end uh, was also a very nice touch. Okay, we're going to check this out a day in the cinematic view so that we can hopefully get some camera shots of the entire North Pole from the 100 meter lift. <laughs> Let's check this out. <laughs> this guy looks like Thunderbud. <laughs> oh, beautiful whimsical flight through the North Pole on that Giga Coaster. Wow, what an experience. Okay, let's go see what this uh what else this park has to offer, the North Pole. There's all sorts of mysteries in the uh the depths of the North Pole. Ooh, Candyland. Yeah, we gotta go to Candyland. We did a whole Candyland project once upon a time on the channel. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. We have 50-something episodes of us building the uh probably the biggest park ever done in planet coaster history that was quite the uh, experience and we might not uh, be done there as i teased in my uh, returning back video in the private section of the videos of the community section i talked about how we might have another project in the works which has uh seen some progress since you guys last saw it Two giant candy canes with the hammer swing going through it. What a good idea there. That's phenomenal. And look at these candy canes. They're all built out of uh, basic shaped cubes or I guess rectangles. How do you even figure that out? Holy good googly moogly. That is impressive. Yeah, super impressive. Oh, wow. Definitely feeling like a candy land. And I like what you did with the little uh, pathway here. It reminds me of the actual Candyland board game. Ginger Park. Wow. <laughs> Whole little ginger family. It's a fun little area. Some good flat rides. Is there any main attractions that I'm missing here? They're like mints. Spinning mints. We got a drop tower. We might as well check that out. Yeah, there's not uh, that many guests in this park, which is kind of surprising. Very uh, VIP exclusive experience. As you can see, there's not a lot of people walking around, which is uh, a little bit sad, but I guess, you know, not everybody gets an invitation to the North Pole. Super exclusive, but uh, quite the treat for us here today. At Channel 5 Gaming. How many park uh, guests do we have in this park? 750. More than I suspected based off of the uh, the density and distribution of the guests. Okay, am I missing anything here? Yeah, we didn't check out the refinery. We did go through Candyland. Let's go see what's in here. Let's go refine some uh, crystals. 
Oh, oh, oh. So this is the magic that keeps the North Pole running as written in the backstory. Love it when people decide to include these backstories and lore into their uh, park creations. Oh. Oh. Not what I expected from a Christmas uh, ride. But I guess uh, get a little bit of heavy metal going. It's it's a lot of hard work to refine these crystals. So got to get some intense music going. All that for a flat ride. I, I actually suspected that we would uh, we would be going into the mountains here. But not the case. This is where they import the crystals to to be refined, not actually where they're mining them. So we're going to have to keep our eyes out for that as we progress further into the park. So yeah, we went all there over there. Let's uh, take this bridge to the other side of this incredible park. Look at that. You're stringing lights from one side to the other. Amazing. Let's go check that ride out first, the coaster here. I'm assuming it's through here unless that's an exit. Aha! Er, the wishing tree. Ooh. What are you guys wishing for this Christmas Eve? I'm wishing that we're gonna have snow. That's my wish. Um, I already have snow here outside of my house currently where I'm recording this video, but it's not where I wanted the snow. Because <laughs> now I gotta shovel it so I can get all the presents into the car before I leave, which sucks. Um, but I hope we uh, we get a snowy Christmas up where I'm staying, which is probably uh, most likely the case if we have snow down here. We're gonna have snow up there since it's uh, up north a bit more. Oh, I didn't look at the ride stats here. We have a uh, inverted Impulsion 1 Viper Boomerang. There's, look at all the stats. Let's get to it. Cool. Let's take another look at that. All those Christmas lights. There's the Aurora going by. Got a drop tower back there. Amazing. Love these uh, builds as well. Super decorative, super pretty. I even like the touch of icing for the snow on the ridges there. Fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. Good ambience throughout this park as well. We got a coaster inside of a snow globe. I want to check that out. Oh, it's literally called the snow globe. So let's let's get all right to it. <laughs> what do we have going on in here? Ooh, it's a spinning coaster, I think. Yes, sir, Bob. What do we have for the stats there? They all are snow globe. We got one taken off right now. Is that the right one? No, this is the right one. All right, let's check it out.
Wait a second. Is this dueling or is this a Mobius or is there something I missed here? Oh yeah, look at that. Did we really go up both lifts? I mean, we, we started in the station, we ended in the station. I feel like, unless it went through twice. No, we went through this. I'm confused. I, I feel like I didn't go up two lifts. Unless I was... Okay, no, this is the first one. All right. Yeah, that's really cool. You synced it up nicely there. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool. You really filled up this snow globe nicely. Absolutely amazing design. Super festive. And uh, designing that globe would be... A tremendous amount of effort using all those glass panels, rotating them. Uh, that is uh, quite the headache, but magical results. Absolutely magical. Look at that. Beautiful. Where to next? MPT? F? -f -ow? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh. Mr. Gulpy, the king, a motorcycle, maybe just ribbon, and presents. A windmill? A little speed. What is this? It's a little museum. Aw, and the beloved cosmic cow. Love it. Okay, we have a factory tour. That's exciting. It's not really moving. Okay, I'm gonna shut it down just to make sure all good to go. And I think this one has custom music. Yep, there we go. Hit refresh on this. I remember looking through the media files and it sounded like I heard someone talking. So this one might be a narrated experience. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, 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 honey, the new recruits are here. Oh, 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 oh. I thought they were coming tomorrow on Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve, dear. Oh, are we behind schedule? Yes, that's why they're here. Well, hello, new recruits. We've been expecting your arrival. Welcome to the NPTFAOW, otherwise known as the North Pole Toy Factory Association of the World. Before you get started, let's give you a little tour of the facility. We'll start in the office space. Most likely you won't be spending too much time in here, as you're going to be working on the floor rather than at a desk. In fact, it looks like almost everyone is on the floor. Where is everyone? Anyway, on to the next area. Anytime you enter this area, be sure to put on your hard hats, just in case anything falls. Dear, are we meant to give them elf hard hats? They aren't elves. These are full grown men and women. Uh, hmm. I'll order some on Amazon, I guess. We can make any toy we want, but we don't have normal hard hats. How embarrassing. Well, we'll get those for you, but in the meantime, in this room is the beginning stage of production. We take raw materials and prepare them to be turned into toys. Hard hats are ordered and should be here today. Gotta love prime shipping. Um, yes, dear. Anyway, on to the next room. You may have noticed the colored smoke coming from all the buildings. Well, this is from the crystals we have under the earth here at the North Pole. If you took the train up, you likely saw a lot of them. Indeed, each color is its own specific use and power. In this case, we see the red crystal, which gives the energy needed to run the village. I guess it's our version of electricity. You shouldn't have to come into this room that often, because there's no toy making here. Oh my, what's that? Honey, do you think that's a problem? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. It, it does that all the time. I hope. Well, well... We'll, we'll notify the elf mechanic, and they'll take a look at it. Shouldn't be a problem. You're completely safe, I promise. Wish we had those hard hats now. Well, on to the next area of the factory. This is where all the toys get built. Parts on the left, and assemblies on the right. This is where most of you will be spending your time with us. And it's super easy. All you have to do is pull the levers and push the buttons as they light up, and the machines will do all the rest. Oh dear, is that a fire? Oh. Oh my, that's not good. Should we talk the tour for a little bit until that's resolved? I don't think that's necessary. Just, uh, just a minor fire. The fire elves will handle it. Onward. Oh dear, oh my. This is, um, can someone turn on the fire sprinklers? Uh, we should stop the tour now. Agreed. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my friends, the tour vehicle is not stopping. So we're just gonna continue. You might want to put your hands over your head just in case. Really wish we had those hard hats now. Uh, as you uh, may or may not be able to see, this is where all the presents get wrapped and get ready to be sent up. We have over one million types of wrapping paper and 10 million ribbons and bows, making each present as unique as possible. Oh, 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 that's hot. Yeah, uh, if you're not working the other assembly room, you will likely be in here and I'm, um, oh, 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 thank goodness, the sprinklers turned on. Finally, we end this tour with the one thing everyone wants to see, Santa's bag. 
Using sacred techniques and a little magic, we managed to fit every present for every kid that's made it onto the nice list. And that is the end of our tour. Please exit to your left and down the hall and you'll be given your assignment. We've got a lot of work to do and no time to waste. Uh, also, we would appreciate it if you don't mention the fire to anyone. But have a great day and work hard. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, the heart has her here. Wow, that was fast. How did they do it? <laughs> Dear, you do know that we are able to deliver over 7 billion presents in under 24 hours, right? Oh, right. But it seems like magic sometimes. Honey, we have magic. Oh, oh, wait, you're still here? Uh, did you hear? Oh, oh, never mind. Of course you did. Uh, you know, this whole experience has not been the most ideal not for our guests. We should probably just wipe their memory <laughs> of this tour. Good idea. Oh. I guess I forgot what I was going to say. Hmm. Not sponsored by Amazon, by the way. <laughs> oh, that was great! And I really like the uh, ambience of it. Like these uh, staff facilities actually felt. Oh, oh, honey, the new. I don't know. Felt oh, believable. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> really cool. Tomorrow on Christmas Eve. Uh, I like the voice narration. Oh. I love that uh, I was just yeah, saying right, right, right. in a park or two ago well, that hello, new more people need to start life. doing that. Uh, based off of uh, what we saw with Bitter Elegance. And um, and well, it's good to see that. It's good to see that. Maybe what I could do, I know Bitter Elegance just released a new Christmas song. Maybe we could put that in the video near the end since um, I have full permission to use their music in my videos. So that's pretty cool. So maybe we'll throw a Bitter Elegance Christmas song. A sleigh ride. Yeah, I love these narrated experiences. It's not too hard to do either. Um, so I hope to see more, more, more of that in the future from you guys in 2023 and beyond. Wow. Look at that. They're like Amazon delivery bots. Santa bots. That'll be the day when all the drones just drop your packages off. As they were saying, Amazon is really something special. I mean, uh, I don't know how they do it either. Getting all these presents to your door in record time. It's quite, quite impressive. I don't even use Amazon Prime. Like, I think I got ordered like one thing this year, but I kept my Prime subscription for the whole year. I don't ever cancel it and re-subscribe to it. I just leave the subscription going. That's how they get you, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but you get your, your, uh, Twitch Primes, right? So you can give a, a couple Twitch Primes every month or whatever. And then you get your Amazon video. And then whenever you do need to order something, it's at your door the next day. So I don't, it's like the one subscription service that I don't end up canceling. Because I'm like, you know what? It's so, it's such a good service that if I have to pay $120 a year, it's, it's definitely worth it for me. So, even if I only end up using it once a year, still worth it. Okay, we got the sleigh ride, guys. It's going to be a winged launch coaster at 1,800 meters of track lake, 85 miles per hour. The biggest drop is 63 miles. Let's get to it. And we're going to sit on the wing.
absolutely incredible. These coasters are something special. And again, we're in a giant globe with a globe within a globe. Globeception right there. Freaking love it. <laughs> wow. Take a walk through present lane. All the elves, the fire elves, their elf hard hats. This is great. And out we go. Ah. Don't forget to get your reindeer photos. Maybe we go at daytime on this. He did say uh, check the park out at daytime just a little bit here. There we go. Ooh. And we got a, a, a drop tower. Snowfall. Let's go up this. I feel like we've uh, hit almost all the rides. I'll definitely check the ride list out here before we end off the video. Oh, here we go. Now, there was another custom song that I downloaded. I didn't hear it throughout the park. Um, I know that that custom narrated um, track had to be reloaded when I got on that... Um, that, that tour ride so maybe um one of the coasters had a custom song that i didn't load properly wow look at all of that the north pole let's go screenshot Beautifully done. Let's get another bird's eye view at the North Pole here. Absolutely beautiful job with this park here today. Love those candy canes. Love the snow globes. The Giga Coaster was fantastic. The villages were amazing. Uh, it's everything you want from a North Pole Christmas special episode of Park Spotlight. Absolutely amazing. Let me double check the ride list to make sure we hit everything. Oh, the decor only is the one thing we missed, but it's literally called decor only. And um, it's used just for the purpose of... Can we see it happen here? Here it comes. Here it comes. And there it is. <laughs> oh, now that I see that, I wish it wasn't decor only. I want to I want to ride that all the way through the buildings, all the way through the village, through all of the stuff. Um, that would be an awesome experience. Maybe for next year, Master Engineer O2. But that was uh, quite the treat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you're having happy holidays. And I hope you have a merry, merry Christmas. Hopefully you enjoyed this park spotlight as the last park spotlight of the year. I definitely certainly did. So I hope you all have happy holidays, a merry Christmas. And I look forward to bringing back Park and Coaster Spotlight early, early in January of 2023 we got a lot of really good stuff in store for you guys and i can't wait to get back to it so thank you all so much for watching again wish you the best and uh, i hope you have a wonderful christmas eve and we'll see you all in the new year bye now